Well, it's a um, exploration of, uh, of two novels, one by Rudy Wiebe and one by Robert Croach of the North. Uh, in Rudy Wiebe's case, the first Franklin expedition, uh, and in uh, Croach's case, the uh, Klondike Gold Rush. But what I do is I try, uh, try to work through those stories and propose a, <coughs> a, Sorry. a, con a conception of, of Northern love, which is supposed to contrast itself somewhat with a uh, conception of American masculinity, especially in relationship to the frontier. So I, you know, there's this, this well-known um, phrase by Robert Croach that says, you know, uh, instead of going west, go north. And what does it mean to go north? Well, what I do is try to explore that in terms of masculinity. And part of what it is is, is uh, the uh, male desire in relationship to the maternal and the paternal. And what I, I see. Uh, <laughs> and what I what I'm proposing is that in the I'm Canadian kidding. experience, at least the Canadian imagination, there's much more of an intertwining of the maternal and paternal structures in the, in the imagination of 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 Canadian masculinity in comparison to the frontier west uh, west, which is much more a kind of virile dominant, aggressive masculinity. Well, part of the problem, and there's a lot of, a lot of very difficult theory in that text, yeah. too. Uh, and so if you're interested in, in uh, Jacques Lacan, a French psychoanalyst, if you're interested in Slavoj Sizek, who's a Slovenian uh, Hegelian, and there's all kinds of that stuff. So anybody that's interested, you'll get lots of that in there. But part of it is also just a, a, an attempt to uh, uh, propose something different for the Canadian imagination in terms of, of uh, Canadian men's experience. And uh, that has to do with the encounter, the, the, the encounter with the maternal uh, and the intertwining between the paternal and maternal structure. So that there's, there's a, a strong element of the maternal even in the paternal structure in the Canadian imagination.